Okay, here for completion, um, we have two rollovers on one page, and I just want to show you the code, and you can see how it's changed from the last example. When you roll over the first image, it swaps. If you roll over the second image, it swaps. And there's two locations here. Oh, and these are active links. I'm not going to demonstrate that. So you'll notice that with two images, the code basically doubles. And we need to create two new images, two new image objects, which we have to define the sources of. And basically, it's completely repetitive from the original code. So you can tell here if you have 10 or 15 different rollovers on your page, your code could get extraordinarily cumbersome. And we strongly recommend that you use some of the web image preparation software or uh, the web uh, layout or web design software to actually generate the JavaScript code for you because this really does become cumbersome. And the longer your code is, the longer it's going to take for the page to load uh, on your user's machine. So um, again, you want to sort of cheat through your JavaScript here when you're dealing with rollovers and uh, complex uh, JavaScript functions.